just to keep them updated. Alright, so we'll call the meeting to order at, uh, I'll say 6.30. And uh, I'm going to kind of leave it in, in your hands right now, just to tell us where we are and where we need to go from here. Okay. And uh, if you have questions. Alright, as of the last meeting, I believe that we um, decided two things. One, police only, mm -hmm. no fire, no town hall. Secondly, I think we narrowed down the five proposals to the two that we were working with since day one. One being growing construction, which does the uh, you know the cement walls, and the other one was um, best way slash uh, um, Milton Milton Homes or New England Homes, mm -hmm. where they do the uh, um, they build the factory and they ship it over by a truck, truck prefab, yes. Yeah, so. So I, I think to move things along, especially if we're, we're trying to do this for next year, is we should probably decide to go with one at this point mm -hmm. and just go forward with that one. Mm -hmm. And we can do that two ways. We can decide tonight, we'll, we'll go with one or the other, or two, maybe have a public hearing. Uh, Still going to have to have that anyway. Yeah, and let the, the two submit a presentation, and, and then the committee can make a decision then. At public hearing? Yeah. 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 Did, did you get, I feel like it's been a while since I looked at it, but you had a pretty firm price from growing, but a less firm price from, is it Avalon? <coughs> no, it was uh, Benchmark. Benchmark did not give us a, uh, a grand total. They said it was $200 per square foot plus 20000 for civil design, town meetings, 40 to 45 for mechanical design and engineering. Fifteen thousand for structural design and engineering, and twenty to twenty-five for architectural design. Adding that up using the, the lower numbers it comes to one million two seventy-three. Carino gave us one million three forty-two. Uh, Ricky Construction on the fourth and one million one ninety-seven seven seven seven. What was growing? Was it one one? Growing was uh, one one eight zero. One million one hundred eighty thousand nine ninety three, and best way homes was one million one hundred sixty three fifteen. Slow that down just a little bit. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What is that number again? For, for New England. Uh, one million one hundred sixty eight thousand three hundred fifteen dollars. Okay. Could you share that breakdown with us, Bob? I think I, did I email this to you many, many months ago? But I can certainly do when that. When we first did I'll, it. I'll send it, it back. Was, yeah. Oh, it's an email. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it back out. Okay. This Thank week. you. Okay. So are those the two lowest boots? Yes. Growing's about approximately $170 a square foot, where Best Way slash Wind Homes is 187 a square foot, roughly. But wasn't the the Gowen building, the one that was made out of cement, right? right Which was going to be like similar to the farming station. Right, and you can take almost anything. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, my sense is that you know we we need to. I mean, we could decide, but that, I think that's always bad for this group. I think we need to have a, a public hearing with the presentations. Yeah. And, and get I'm, some input, and then just go from there. I'm okay with that. You know, yeah. Um, I really think that's. Uh, I don't think I spelled it right, but. That's what we need to do. So that would be my mm -hmm. my two cents. Yeah. Do you have a? I'm fine with him. Are you leaning one way or the other in terms of these? Well, well I think if you're looking long term, um, I certainly think the the cement wall building mm -hmm. will last longer mm -hmm. than yeah. than a regular mm -hmm. stick building. I like the security of the cement walls right. too, with right. what's going on today. Um, so, I guess what we will have to do is come up with how soon you want to have a public hearing, which we need to have one pretty soon because of the SB2 issue. So, we want to make sure that we're going to get some, going to get all the information we have and the public's opinion before, and then we're going to go look for financing. So. Yeah. Um, so we should have it soon, but summer you're going to have a limited show, and I can almost guarantee it, you know, of people coming in. So one of the questions that I posed back along when I suggested what we do, um, but how, what is going to be the position when they start asking questions about town hall? And we talked about this, about, you know, getting 
a separate price from whatever vendor um, for a potential cost to build it structurally if we wanted to add on. So separate from the, just the police department. Because I feel like the, the questions are going to come up. People are going to say, five people in this building and maintain this building. And, and I'm concerned that's going to be a showstopper. And general discussion with, with these two, yep. if you're looking at a town hall and or a fire department to go with the police, you're talking about a million dollars each. So you're adding another million dollars to, to what's the, our, what's the structure? Yep. So just so if, if we're built yep. in a way that at a future date we could add on. Not, so not built not, on Not on Silver Street because the only way to go on Silver Street is to go up. So yep. you have, you have the second floor. So. Yep. Uh, if, you use a, if you use a Silver Street uh, property for a town hall police department, you got to build it all at once because you don't want to go 10 years from now, cut the roof off the police department to add the second story. Yeah, that'll put you out of business. So, like, yeah, that's Does that, is that really the approach that they would have? I mean, I feel like, well, is that the approach they'd have to take? They, they couldn't... Um, I mean, they may have to strip the roof off, but do they have to really... Like, well, you, the you, you've got to take all the... The trusses off, the top of the building, make it flat, put you on your second floor, yep. then build your walls on top of that, then the new trusses for the new roof, yep. plus if you're talking your second floor, you're talking an elevator shaft, mm -hmm. plus a, uh, a cement uh, fire resistant uh, uh, walkway going down the side of the building. So, so we have to make sure that the whatever we build now yep. will support that, um, right. a, second, a second story. Right. So. Uh, but I'm sure that the, the contractors can address those questions at public hearings. Well, sure. well. Mm -hmm. I mean, and they, I mean, you might prep them for the, you know, people are going to prod for well, sure. costs. Well, well they, they've been through this before, so yeah. they, 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 you know, they, they may not have all the answers, but I'm sure they have the majority of the answers. Yep. Um, the Silver Street property is too small to go police and right. fire or police and town hall beside each other. Yeah. So no, I was like, realistically, you can't put the fire department upstairs. Right. Um, I guess you could put the police department upstairs and put the fire department upstairs. downstairs, but then we have issues with uh, prisoners and general you know, things like that. So, ideally, if you you did a duo on Silver Street, it should be police and town hall. Right, exactly. Yeah. Not so, fire. I would right, not fire. fire. I think fire is fine where it is. Yeah. I, I know that we're t looking for a whole complete municipal yeah. building, but yeah. they're fine where they are. I mean, I don't think that that is something that yeah. we should spend a whole lot more money buying property to make it eventually be part of it. I mean, I just don't see that as being reasonable, you know. Um, town hall, you know, I'm either direction. I, I get what you're saying about having five people in this room, in this building alone, you know, I mean, that it's costly. Yeah, why did we decide not to do town hall with the police department? We didn't. We did. Well, I think Mike Rollo had suggested that, uh, you know, it's going to be difficult as enough, you know, another million dollars yeah. just to... Uh, you might be pleasantly surprised if people... Possibly. If, they, if you told people that it's going to be another million dollars, two million dollars to do to do with police and town hall, yeah. um, and we got rid of this building, I think there's enough people who are willing to get rid Possibly. of this building. <laughs> Possibly. Um, but what are you going to do but with this building? That's the, that's <laughs> the million dollar question as well. I mean... Well, I know a, a major uh, real, real estate uh, developer was interested in, in this building back when we did the renovation. He was going to make, put uh, elderly apartments in this building. That'd be great. You know, could happen again. I don't know if he'd still be interested, but uh, you know, we did approach him and he was interested. But his claim was, you know, I can't give you a million dollars for the building, mm -hmm. tear it apart, and then put through several million into it because I won't make any money. Mm -hmm. You sell me the building for a buck or a thousand bucks or something like that, I'll put it back on the tax tax mm -hmm. for you folks. And the, uh, the selective board at that time said, you know, I'm going to sell the town hall for a million. I mean, a buck or a thousand dollars, whatever. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so, yeah. So uh, instead, we spent one million, thirty-nine dollars, one million, thirty-nine thousand, four hundred sixty-seven dollars to renovate this building. Right, and look okay. where we are today. And still. <laughs> to fix it now, uh, we've got the estimate, just for the bottom floor, for the water issue, was seven hundred thousand dollars. Just take care of the water issue properly. That does include, I mean, if you're going to tear the building apart, you might as well make sure that uh, you've got proper windows in there now. You might as well make sure you have proper insulation. So you're probably talking, you know, another million five, maybe two, 
to rehab this entire building oh, again. Easily too, I think. Yeah. Easily. I mean, so. every window in this build up on this floor leaks yeah. when it rains, yeah. and you know, I mean, it's yeah. in the heat system, and uh, it's right. just. I just, I, I feel like people yeah. may be open yeah. to um, the option to do one building for the. For like I can certainly yeah, ask them to prepare something for that. Yeah, and oh, that would be, be my, to throw out a number. my preference is we do it all because we can't keep throwing good money after bad in this agree. building. And as I long agree. as we have people in here, we're going to have to spend to, to fix it. It's mm -hmm. going to be boilers, it's going to be roof, it's going to be something. And that we're is. constantly, it's, you know, a million cuts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bleeding us. And mm -hmm. so my feeling is let's, let's cut our losses and let's look at, um, you know, doing both of them. But that said, I think we really have to get the police department out of the basement. Mm -hmm. And if we add the other project, now we keep pushing it off. And it just, it's, you know, okay, now we're going to do town hall too. Now, you know, we got to get this thing off the ground mm -hmm. and moving um, so that we can we can accomplish our goals instead of just, well, let's look at this. And so I, I'd really like to see us um, move. And I, my feeling is we do we do it both down here. But if you, so if you came to the table with two separate proposals, one for just police and one for police and town hall, um, people could choose, you know, they could, they could choose. Um, Do we know what we need for town hall? I mean, the... Uh, well, that's my concern these, is we need to start evaluating that now. Yeah. Well, well you're utilizing some resources with PD, right? You were saying a bigger right, conference right, room right. that wasn't, I mean, exactly. completely yeah. exactly. outside of the station itself, so it could be utilized right. by the town hall and right. these type of meetings service. and yeah. whatever. Right. So that was one big resource. Yeah. Um, I would suggest using the exact same footprint for the police department, just the entire second floor. Mm -hmm. That will give you future officers if you have a town manager or, or, mm -hmm. or uh, you know, code enforcement officer or, you know, mm -hmm. you have a smaller conference room like this, but certainly you don't utilize the one big conference room downstairs. Mm -hmm. And um, I did throw together a little design where um, originally I had the road going on, on the left-hand side of the building. And then the folks who used our meeting room for the public would go in the front door of the PD. And then talking with a couple of the vendors, I said, no, that's kind of crazy. Let's make the road and the parking lot to the right-hand side of the building. Because we already have a door on the side of the building going directly into the conference room. Mm -hmm. Then the general public that uses that conference room when the police aren't there will have free access to go come and go as they please. And we just like up here, the, the, right. the, the committee chairman or, or whatever will have the access card to shut the alarm off and whatnot. And uh, they won't be bothering the police side. Right. right. So, yeah. So we have, um, is there sufficient parking for both? Yeah, I think we increased to 31 spaces. What do we have here? We got here. Right. That includes the post office. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if I brought that diagram or not. Yeah. So you said use the same footprint. Um, it's, roughly, maybe, it's roughly 60 by 80. Yeah. Yeah. Just maybe move the walls and stuff. So we wouldn't necessarily. So well, he wouldn't say that it's going to be exactly like this, but. but well, correct. Yeah, you could. It's, it's a truss system, so you could move your interior walls any place that you want. So you can have a six foot wide hallway. You can have a ten foot wide hallway, and um, uh, uh, the, the little diagram that I had proposed is the elevator would be to the far. When you're looking at the side of the building where the uh, the conference room is, the town hall uh, it was upstairs. The, the door will be on the far right with the elevator and main entrance. Once you come off there, you came into a secure lobby. So, you know, the girls are behind like they are now. Mm -hmm. And then if you need to go down and speak with the code enforcement officer or whatever, mm -hmm. they, you know, buzz you through a door. Mm -hmm. So we just don't have people running up and down, mm -hmm. up and down the hallway upstairs. So it's a little more secure mm -hmm. for them as well. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, I use the exact same uh, uh, dimension of the building and you can move the walls around wherever you want. So all we would really need from him then is basically, so we say the same footprint, but he'd have to plan for an elevator, mm -hmm. um, and just a ballpark on that, mm -hmm. probably. I would definitely keep the police on the first floor. I mean, yeah. that oh, yeah. that just makes, yeah. so, I mean, I don't think it's an option to have it even reverse at this point. I think yeah. um, you need to stay on the first floor. So then it's a town hall on the second floor with, a, with an elevator. Yeah.
And then it's, I mean, plumbing and electric to add the extra stuff on top is a little different, it's not a big deal. But when it's but all open versus doing renovations, it's a whole lot cheaper to do it that way, yeah, isn't exactly. it, than it is to tear exactly. this stuff apart and redo stuff and yeah. put it back yeah. together. So, and if you know you're having it, then, you know. Plus, in the long run, you'll actually save a little money because you won't have two alarm systems, one for here, yeah. for the police. Yeah. You won't be spending money for water here and for water over there. Mm -hmm. You won't be paying the monthly cable bill for the internet here and over there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, the, the phone, you know, the phone's it's negligible because you know the phone system's going to stay the way it is mm -hmm. as far as the number of phone lines and whatnot. So there's really no cost difference there. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. So, Bob, do you want to? Ask him about the second floor for town hall. I can do that. Exact plan of what? Okay. Right. And I think then, we have some rough figures for public hearing. Yeah, I think you that. get a general feeling about where people want to go. Sure. Yeah. And then we'll try to do something. I know it's summer, but the sooner we do this, the better. I mean, yeah. We can yeah. shoot for something even in August. You know, because mm -hmm. I think July is you know a week away. Mm -hmm. So we yeah, can try to get something. the end of July. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's 30 days. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think if you get something, if they can yeah. give you the plan w within that time period, which I think that they could. Yeah. Um, and then we could do third to fourth week of July. You know, yeah. I, I don't know, nights or weekends better? I, I think a night I during the week. I don't want vacation before the week. Third or fourth week yeah. um, last weekend in July is not good for me, but it's not just, you know, it's just, just think weekends are probably more yeah. active with families, so if we try to say something during the week. Um, and have it early enough that, you know. I'm going on the week of the 23rd. Okay. So, but then we have the 30th and 31st of the following, the last week. Okay. So, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I really think, you know, we get a chance to do this once, and mm -hmm. I really think it's, we've had so many problems with this building, and I think Ken's right. Well, people, if we present to people what these are the options, mm -hmm. even though people, you know, nobody wants to spend the money, I mean, but... You're going to spend the money somewhere here. Exactly. Or the other. So, you know, let's let's spend it wisely rather mm -hmm. than, yeah. you know. Do it right. So, we, we do know the furnace here needs to be replaced at some point. Yeah. Uh, we did get word uh, this week when they did the uh, checkup on the generator that it's going to need about $3,000 mm -hmm. worth of work at this point uh, just to maintain it. However, because the machine is so old now and it's an old diesel machine that they don't make parts for it. So it might be difficult in the future if that breaks down to, to get it running. Well, how much is a big one? I mean, how much is a new one? Are they... Uh, let's see, I get well, clearly it's bigger than what I have. Yeah, I get a, oh, yeah. I got, oh, okay. I got a price here. 45000 For boiler? Or for no, that's for, that's, that's, that's for generator. Oh, okay. oh, just to... Well, only because um, the PD has to be... Right, plus the emergency operations. System, yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, you know, Monday we had a problem with the... Uh, HVACs, yeah. so they fix them and they say that all four of those units out back there are on their last leg and probably within two years you're going to have to replace all four of them. Okay, so your plans so, get new of all of this stuff when we go over, oh, if we go over there. Oh, yeah, Everything yeah. is yeah. new. We're not taking yeah. any of this old stuff no, with us and, and I, I making know. it work. I would jump up and down and scream. Me too, and but you know. <laughs> well, I bet you the questions are asked. Well, yeah, the time no, but that stuff would stay with this building because, you know, right. in transition, you're still going to need heat and electricity. Right, right. AC if it's working, mm -hmm. a generator if it's working at that point. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, yeah. what's the size on that generator? Do you know? Generally, I think, uh, depending on what you get, you could probably get about 30 years out of a generator. This no, one here, sorry, this one here is rated for, for 20. Because it's, it's an old diesel. Um, I would propose that we go propane. Do you know what the size is, though? It's how many uh, it's usually KVA. Yeah. yeah, I think it's like 45,000. Because it's, it's meant to run so this entire building, every single light, every right? single computer. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I think it's 45,000 kilowatts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. So you never know what you can have unless you ask for it, so you might as well ask for it. True. Well, no, but did you, is it, maybe I got this wrong, but Will Homeland or somebody help us with the diesel for a new uh, a new generator if, on a new building for an EOC type of operation? As of right now, you can get fifty percent match okay. for a generator for an EOC. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. That's, so is that forty five k fifty percent or is that? No, that that's the total price. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred thousand dollars for generator. We're going to get some offices and stop pedaling your bicycles, yeah, getting that exactly. <laughs> electricity moving. So, I mean, 
mean, my, my two cents is that's, that's the way we go. We say, look, we need this. I mean, we've known this for years. Mm -hmm. We need this done, and, and let's do it. Let's do it right. Um, it might be nice if, um, for a public hearing if um, you or Suzanne came with some potential upcoming costs for this building. Mm -hmm. um, you know, boiler replacement, generator yeah, issue. Yeah, exactly what Bob was saying. The yeah. uh, HVAC units and what we're, gonna, what we're looking at. Yeah. Say in the next two years. Yeah. And I know uh, uh, Suzanne has sent an email looking for other associated costs. Find everything for section one, eating, all that stuff. Um, I did price a phone system for up there, a radio system, antenna, you know, antenna, security system, which includes a long view, surveillance, pass guides, secure doors, generator, uh, fence, 600 feet of fence, uh, 200 on either side, furniture equipment, EOC equipment, furniture, uh, miscellaneous stuff, sign play, goal, and site prep for uh, removing some trees and some stumps. Um, if we do build up there, there are some trees that are on the wood line that we really should get out of there because they're tall mm -hmm. pines and eventually they're going to come down. Mm -hmm. so. yep. and then, I'm sorry, did you include furniture costs for, for all your new furniture? Yes. For office? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have those figures. And those are just rough figures. Uh, as far as furniture and stuff like that is concerned, but the phone system, you know, it's a given, the radio system is a given, the antenna is a given, security is a given. So. Um, she had a question about the Plowing, paving, and striping. Well, paving will be done by the initial contractor, and you know, at some point, uh, you know, I think a maintenance fund will be established for that new building. You put so much aside per year to take care of things like paving, striping, and, and whatnot. Um, plowing. Uh, you know, if, if they're not doing here, they can certainly be doing it. You know, they'll get oh, yeah. to town. Say, and to town. we yeah. actually, uh, until, the, until the town trucks get here, we actually snowball in front of our garage doors. Mm -hmm. So we would do the same thing. Mm -hmm. We'd continue to the snowball in front, of doors, in front of our doors to get the cruisers in. Uh, but as far as the big parking lot and whatnot, yeah. uh, you know, we'd leave that to the, up to the town folks. Yeah. yeah. So. And logistical costs uh, for moving uh, the RPD to there. I have already got a commitment from a rental company that uh, they will not charge us for a U-Haul or a Penske truck if, if need be, and we just start moving things over slowly as need be. Um, you know, the office was here, we can do that ourselves, we don't have to hire anybody. I mean, we did it when we moved out of this building, now we moved the police line, moved the town hall from here down to the bank on, <laughs> on Front Street, and then we did the same thing, we moved everybody back, so that, that, that's, that's not a cost that uh, the town has to worry about. Okay. Do you know how much square footage Town Hall has here now, like for space? I don't. I don't. This is approximately so <coughs> between 5,000 and 6,000. For the Town Hall offices? For, for this entire floor, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That does not include the, the stairs out here. So, <coughs> with the foot, new footprint, what would they have up there? Would you have any idea? 56, I believe it is. So that would work out. Is that, does that um, include the, the loss of the wall space because of the roof? Well, you're, you're talking uh, about uh, 11 to 12 inches for each wall, so you're going to lose some of the measurements. The, the measurements that are given are for the outside of the building. or all fair or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're going to eliminate that great big commerce room over there. Mm -hmm. And then that, uh, and so that, so that square footage would be couple. for like the um, Tom Clark, uh, you know, your uh, building inspector yeah, and, and can have a code enforcement guy, yeah. you know, so yeah. instead of sharing space, they could have their own space. Doesn't have to be huge, but you know, it can be. So what you have in your, in your meeting room there that you wouldn't need over there, it would be maybe a couple offices. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think we have enough. I mean, the slug men will probably always stay in one room together, I would assume, in uh, treasurer. So, uh, and the administrator.
administrator. You make sure you would have either a, you know, if eventually we get a town manager or a town um, administrator, um, an office for that person. So, yeah, I think, we're, I think we're pretty good on the square footage here. I'm just utilize it a little differently, you know. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so next steps, public hearing. Decide when the new meeting is going to be. And do we want both vendors in at the exact same night? Probably, yes. Is that appropriate? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, do you want to have maybe they can put, maybe they can bid, they can bid each other up. <laughs> 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 they see what they want to do. Well, you can have, you can have it two different times if you're not in the room, yeah. clearly. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. And one I show up like at 6.30 when yeah, you're seven, seven, or whatever. Or 7.30, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, in, in the meantime, would you or, or someone from your office be able to like, contact the, the folks who do the bonding? See like what the current interest rate is? Yeah. Um. yeah, it's spread out Suzanne's uh, yeah. from last time, so I will talk to uh, Caroline and Suzanne about that, okay? And roughly, we're yeah. probably talking 2.5. Oh, what's this? 2.59, yeah. 1, 2, 10%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Well, CIP has 100 and yeah, something. That's what we thought it was. Police Department is so nice. Got some money to play with there. 100, 105 in reserve, it looks like, mm -hmm. for police and town administration. That's as, what we've as of been as of this year, yeah. so yeah, yeah, so that might bring it down a little bit or help with the interest or something like that. Or just maybe little things that you can pick up after the fact, you know, bond the project and maybe furniture and stuff can come out of that or whatever. But you know, as I mentioned the last meeting, you know, the town starting in 1999. Did set aside fifty thousand dollars per year for the principal for the renovation, mm -hmm. and then of course you had the interest. So you know the town bonded seven hundred fifty thousand uh, dollars. At that time, it was two hundred eighty nine thousand in interest, which brought the renovation up to one million thirty one million thirty nine thousand four hundred sixty seven dollars and forty cents. So, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that the interest rate is going to be lower than lower now than it was back mm -hmm. in nineteen ninety eight. So I was a longer wait than you know, the worst of the ads. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, if we're talking 2019, these were done in 2017, so I think they're probably going to look at probably maybe a 10 percent increase, possibly. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From the. Yeah. From from the, the family, family. Yeah. Well, what's nice about these? These are design built, mm -hmm. so you know what you're getting ahead of time, mm -hmm. and that's your final price, unless you make changes in the meantime. And you make changes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. But that's it. Yeah. Build it for that price. Yep. So. so um, Grants or anything like that? Any possibilities for new police administration? I mean, not for the building itself. Not for the building Maybe itself. for security and cameras, and possibly. No, no FEMA grants or anything like that. No, not for that. No. No energy grants either. If uh, twenty years of the building, then they they help us. Buy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Are there any energy grants? Um, possibly if this is a green building. I'm not sure there will be a green building. It will be greener than this building, but it will. But I don't think it's going to be a green, green. green building. So, I mean, there are a lot of hoops and whatnot to, to be a green building. And that usage in usage brings the cost up. So. Do you have in your in your pricing as well as your, your, a new septic and, and the... That's, that's and part of the That is part of it. Okay. Part of okay. Yeah. So that's town water? Yes. Town water, but we need to sewer. But no sewer. And they handle that too, they sub it out. Yep. Okay. Yep. They'll probably sub it out. So they'll probably have to increase the size a little bit. Well, if you're going to have the both, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. And they did say the leach field can't be under the parking lot. Mm -hmm. That's not an issue. Really? Yep. You only, you only just need to have access point somewhere to get into the tank and suck it out. Which is quite a ways difference, from, uh, quite a ways of a distance between your uh, leach field anyway. Mm -hmm. Any, um, any well, I guess it goes down, doesn't go out, unless you have a problem. <laughs> right. Well, it should be doing this. <clears throat> right. It should be, it should be. Should be. Your sewer should not be giving out. Right, well, unless you have a problem. problem. Yeah. yeah, but but then what will happen if you did put it under your station if you had a problem? No, it would be in the station, it would be under the parking lot. Well, I mean, under the parking lot. Well, they would have to do the parking lot. Okay. Is that the only place for it? Is under the parking lot? Well, no. Lot? No. Okay. No. 
Well, you'd have it in a grassy area if you're going to yeah, have grassy yeah. areas. I mean, I if we move the building a little bit closer to Silver Street, they, they might, you know, again, mm -hmm. the state, they'll have to check with the state to see how big it needs to be and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We might be able to put it at the wood line in the back. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Especially if you're going to get rid of some of those trees, too. Yeah. Um, we didn't ever talk about any, there's no potential cleanup costs from the highway there, right? That's that so I don't think we No, I mean, like, um, hazardous waste cleanup costs. They hauled out whatever was there, right? We, we yeah. did that last year. We took the building out. Okay. Yeah, there was some uh, asbestos and some lead paint, which they removed. Okay. Yeah. Nothing in the ground. No. Not that it's dramatic. It's only really no. septic. Not, nothing, nothing to be concerned about. Yeah. And we're going on a slab, right? So we're not digging way down. Right, it'd be a slab, yeah. So if it's down there, hopefully we won't find it. How do so, slabs yeah. work with frost heating and stuff like that? Is you it four you feet? A frost wall. You put frost walls down four okay. feet in there. In a slab? In a slab, okay. I, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I will look at bonding in the interest go back to you. Um, you'll get us re-quoting numbers if, it, if they've changed. Yeah. Do you want to uh, send us a date at some point in the very near future? So we can I do so? want to send it. Well, I mean, do you want to send it to me? I can. Okay. For a public hearing is what you're talking about? Okay. Yeah. I, oh, I don't have my date. But I got, that's okay. <laughs> Can't be Mondays. <laughs> so check your schedules. And, July, um... and where do you want to have it? I want to have it big school. enough. Yeah. That, that, that yeah, we the school or the well, we can try the school, depending, you know, what where they are with all their floor issues and you know, because they, they used to not easy to take the all the equipment out of classrooms and store mm -hmm. in the, uh, the yeah. gym where they do the, do the floor one. Might be able to get the legion. Too. Might be able to get mm -hmm. the legion. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would say that that probably wouldn't be, but you know, that plenty of parking there, and you're not going to interfere with any projects that are happening at the school. Yeah. 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 Tuesday, July 31st. Tuesday, July what? 31st. 31st, okay. Wednesday, August 1st, we have budget committee. That's our August 2nd is available. That's what I see. I don't see anything else yet. Uh, Friday the 3rd, but that's Friday. And you said no Mondays. Monday would be Well, Mondays are board meetings. Uh, so. So we'll try for the thirty first then. Okay, what's the what's the uh, Tuesday or Wednesday about that too? The twenty fourth. Oh, the, you're gone now. I'm that's why you're doing. It. Okay, okay, no, you know, no, no. I mean, that's why we did that. Yeah. So. Um, Plus that gives us, I think, a little more time because. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tuesday or Wednesday preference. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter with the Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, the 31st and the 1st. Well, the 1st is the budget committee. Oh, that's the budget yeah. committee, August 1st? August 1st, yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, the 31st, or we could do Thursday the 2nd. Thursday the 2nd, all right. I just okay. go to the 31st, that way sooner or better. The same for the 31st, because if you have it on Thursday, you're going to... There's people that are open here that wouldn't be able to go. Yeah. So we want to try to keep it as... All right, let's aim for the 31st. Um, can you, when you're asking them to redo those those uh, bids, that, uh, their availability on those days? Well, are we redoing them, or are we going well, to get a second? Well, we're going to ask them to update them. A second one, yeah. right? I mean, so, so it ends up being two separate proposals? One where it's just the DD mm -hmm. and one where it's not? Correct. Right, okay. right. But it might have some updating, updating since it's a year old now. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, one with with the um, town hall and one without. Okay. So let's get it for six thirty and seven. Yep. Okay. You think I have an hour presentation with questions? Isn't it? Should we go six thirty and seven thirty? Six thirty and seven thirty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll just have to really try to publicize it to say you know. We'll be there at 7.15, and then if we're done, then we, they can they can start out, because people aren't going to come and go. They're, gonna, they're there, they're there, you know, so. Um, okay. For the 31st. All right. Anything else we need to talk about tonight? What is the absolute deadline as far as this is concerned, you know, the budget and... Well... 
budget will definitely have to be done in December for sure. Because um, then you're going to have your public hearings in January. Um, so I would say um, they are starting to meet with the department heads, as you've been notified, in late September. For us, because then you're going to meet with the budget committee after that. So I think we really need to have, I would say, the middle of October is the latest that we can can make a decision then, I think. I think we have time to get the figures together at that point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think so too. So I, said that I would say that, because then you're going to have to have a public hearing on a bond, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, we should be all prepared for middle of October. Okay? I know it's going to be tight, but... Alright, um, just let me know if you need anything from me and the selectmen doing this process and do what we can for you. Okay, any other questions? No? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll send Charlie some updated notes and copy you guys too. Probably. And I'll, I'll send everybody these three pages here just as a reminder. Okay. The bond thing, the other items that I'm not including the proposal and the, uh, if you can get the main proposal prior to the public hearing, can you share it with us? Uh, I, as soon as I get it, um, we can meet. I'll probably, probably have. To, I'll probably have to. to I won't be able to probably send. Unless, well, maybe they'll do it to me electronically. But in the past, it's all been. And we can make copies of it, I guess. And do that, but, yeah. We can always find pick up a copy too. If you know, yeah, but, yeah, but, but we, we also we need after, after once once it. Is all said done. We could meet again before yeah. we have a public hearing if you want. Yeah. You know, yeah. just to go over the, and hopefully Charlie would be able to be here too and ask questions if yeah. you needed it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. let's okay. find out how long this is going to take, and then we will decide whether or not we can fit in a meeting before that. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, all thank right. you all.